What's up, riders? I know that it's been a while, but I'm back at the Ride Home Review. Sorry about the, missing the last couple of weeks. However, like I said, I'm back at it. And this week, I watched First Man, which stars Ryan Gosling, Claire Foy, Kyle Chandler, and was is directed by Damien Chazelle, who is of Whiplash and La La Land fame, stepping out of his little bit of a different genre. But before I go into that, don't forget, I know that I have been neglecting it, but subscribe to Ride Home Review Reviews on YouTube. Look like it, Ride Home Reviews on Facebook, and at Ride Home Reviews on Instagram. And also the Anchor Channel, where I also do TV series reviews as well. So let's get into it. So what is First Man about is uh, basically the bi a biopic of the of Neil Armstrong as he goes into uh, the Apollo moon landing, um, that series of time from starting out as a pilot in 61 um, and moving forward to uh, landing on the moon and the trials and tribulations therein, of course, it's a biopic. What did I like about the film? Well, first of all, what, the one thing that stuck out to me was the sound design. And the sound effects, it was incredible. Or, in some parts, the lack thereof, which was key. So, it was just pretty sweet how uh, the, that element was just really good. The cinematography was good, very good. Um, the production design, art direction really took you back in time. I thought they did a good job with that, as well as the costuming. And Claire Foy... Um, this, this she's really worked on her American accent for this one um, yeah because uh, earlier this year this is her third movie this year unbelievable uh, run for Claire Foy in 2018 um, very talented so she does not disappoint and um, you know and a lot of the space scenes and, and the editing the editing in this film is just absolutely spectacular really gets you on the edge of your seat and um, they just do a wonderful job so the sound design especially uh, you know and the editing it was just really good really good with that um, what I didn't really care for was I liked the cinematography but I thought they went a little bit overboard with the the steady cam not the steady cam but the hand handheld stuff when it wasn't um, aeronautic related I just I thought it was a little bit much I knew what they were trying to do there but I just felt it was too much um, of that shakiness when he wasn't in a plane or aircraft versus being an aircraft I thought that they could have let up a little bit on that um, I felt that there was huge chunks of time that they skipped over and it didn't mesh very well in the overall story um, it just seemed like they jumped from one emotion to the other and didn't allow much buildup. Um, and, but I liked the realism that they had in play for that. So, you know, it was, uh, it was, there was some trade-offs, but I felt that there was parts of the story, especially after, um, one of the accidents, it just zipped right forward and it just was like, uh, okay. Um, and I felt that, yeah, it just, there, yeah, there was just some things about the story that just didn't connect and, or weren't fleshed out enough, um, or were just brushed over and they needed to be expanded on a little bit more. Um, what to watch for. I love the moon motif and how they made it a character. Uh, like here I am, Neil, come get me. Um, and the juxtaposition between Earth and Earth and the Moon. I, I thought that that was a nice touch. I was always there, ready to get, but just far enough that you can't reach it. I liked I liked how um, they played up that part subtly, very subtly, but enough to annoy Neil. So that's it, First Man. It is well worth the watch. Um, it is a little long, but all in all. Pretty good movie, just a little bit of things here and there, but until next week, watch something cool. Have a good one.